everyone! Um, I'm so excited today. I'm going to do a, we'll see if we can shoot for about 10 minutes. I don't have a clock in here, so I'm going to do my best. Um, I'm going to actually use my couch today, and I've got one of my softballs. So if you have something like this in your house, go grab it. Otherwise, you could also use a, um, like a hand towel or just a bath towel and roll it up. Um, that will work as well. Okay, so to get started, what we're going to do, and you can also do this like on your mat or you could grab the edge of a chair, um, but since we're all home, I thought it would be kind of fun to do something with our couch. Um, and of course, there's two things, like so, like this is a little squishy on top, so for me, like I actually would have you, if, you're, if you can go underneath, you have just a little bit harder of a surface, so you don't have so much hyper uh, extension of your wrists, okay? This is where maybe you want to grab a chair um, or something in your house, okay? So let's go ahead and start in a plank position. You know, I love my plank slides, but I want to do a little running back and forth here, okay? So we're holding a plank, we're going to activate those quads, Zip up that belly, do a little running, kind of wake up those calves, connecting through your mid back. Good, lots of mid back connection. Watch that you're not like this. I want you to open up across your chest, kind of look out in front of you. Good, now I want you to extend both heels back. Exhale, we're gonna slide forward. Inhale and go back. Good, so as we exhale to slide forward, I want you to really think about firing your quads Connecting into your low belly and your mid back. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. And if at any time you need to release, go ahead and release. Okay, now I want to go down into some push ups here. So let's go to like 45 degree angle with your wrist. So we're going to inhale to lower. I want you to fire those quads. Think um, chest first, exhale, and press. So inhale as you lower, you're really strong for your core, strong for those quads, strong for that mid back. Let's go for eight. And exhale, seven, six. Use that exhale to initiate that push because you're going to stay a lot more connected through that low belly. Watch that your booty's not doing this, okay? Keep it up a little bit. Last three. And two, last one. From here, I want you to release on down. Okay, so I want those knees to go wide. And then from here, what I want you to do is you're gonna put your hands on the top of your couch. And you're gonna send your hips back. So it's gonna feel really good to open up across your chest. And then what I want you to do is we're gonna do a little pelvic tilt. So I think activate lightly through your pelvic floor. Start to round your spine. Pressing all the way up. Take a deep inhale into your back. And then bring your head up out of your chest. And I want you to feel some nice wrapping around those ribs. Open on up. Good, and we'll do that again two more times. Exhale, little pelvic tilt. So we want to really feel the deeper layers of our core working so we can get more movement and articulation of our spine. Good, and inhale, open up, and my kitty is joining me today. Good, one more, exhale. Round, good, and then go ahead and come on up from there. Okay, so from here, let's give our wrists a little break. We're gonna go back to our couch in just a second. Um, I want you to get pretty close to your couch. Grab your ball if you have it, or again, a towel will work. And you're gonna roll on back. We're gonna place our heels up on the edge of the couch. You're gonna place your ball in between your legs here, okay? And we have the option to either keep your arms down by your side, or you could put them out to a T. I can't quite reach there with my door in the way. Okay, so deep inhale. Exhale, you're gonna do a little pelvic tilt here. Start to roll up, and we're gonna squeeze that ball on our way up, and then exhale, soften and articulate and roll on down. Inhale, and exhale, pelvic tilt first, then we activate glutes and hamstrings. Give yourself a little hammy curl here, wake up those hamstrings and glutes, and exhale, soften and roll down, keeping your neck nice and relaxed. And exhale, a little tilt. Articulate up, and right here we're gonna hold. So watch that you feel a good amount of connection in your deep core. We're gonna lower and lift and squeeze that ball or towel. Inhale, control down. Exhale, zip up and lift. Let's go for seven more. And last four and three. Two, last 
one, hold, and then little squeezes with that ball. Get it. And if any time you need to release, release, and then just come back in, okay? So we're really just like squeezing those inner thighs, feeling those glutes working. Go for five, four, three, two, and one, nice and slow, and control all the way down. Okay, good. So I'm place that ball off to the side, and we're gonna come back up to our couch. Okay, so you can sit right at the edge here, and again, you may, if you can keep your hands on top, it's not too squishy, you can do that. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk on out. So it's a really good way to open up across our chest, work into our triceps and our mid-back, which is really important, especially if you've been sitting a lot. Okay, so walk those legs out. Then what I'm gonna have you do, you're gonna really open up your chest, squeeze those triceps as you lower your hips down. And then it's a pelvic tilt, so I'm getting some deep core work, pressing my feet into my mat, and opening up across my chest, okay? And then, nice and slow, really keep lifting that chest. You're gonna feel like you're sticking your chest out, but that's okay, we want that. So I really want you to feel lift through your neck, okay? Squeeze those triceps, pelvic tilt first. Feel that deep core working, Press your feet into the mat as you come on up. Good, and then stay lifted and articulate and come down. Now you can continue that if you wanna make it harder. You can straighten those legs out. Just watch that you don't hyper extend your knees. So we're gonna lower the hips down and then we're gonna pelvic tilt and then come all the way up. Open up across that chest and release and let the hips come back down. So it's pelvic tilt first because this helps to keep it out of your back. Helps you to wake up the deep layers of your core Exhale. Good, let's go for three more to finish these. And last two. And the last one here. And go ahead and release. Okay, let's come on down to our mat. I want to do a set of some back extension work because again, if you are sitting a lot, during your day, um, we need to really be focused on opening up across our chest and strengthening our mid-back muscles. Okay, so we'll lay on down my mat. Legs are nice and long. And I want you to put your head just right on your hands. We're just like, I want to keep my head up so you can hear me. But I want your legs, and give yourself a little reach. Try to keep your legs parallel. And I want you to extend both legs out and you're gonna lightly lift up. So we're gonna feel deep core working. You're gonna feel hamstrings and glutes. Good, but we wanna watch that you're not dumping right into your low back, okay? So you might feel a little work and stability happening, happening, and then nice and slow control, lower down, exhale, lift, and lower. Let's go for five. And last three. And two more. Last one here, release on down. I want you to take a nice deep breath all the way into your low back. So it's really important that we get the breath all the way nice and low into our back. It's gonna help release any tension in our sacrum. It's also gonna help you make sure you keep your lungs open. Okay, so let's work into some swan preps to work our mid back. Okay, head is all the way down. I want you to feel like you're lightly wrapping those shoulders around and back. Pull down onto your palms, and we're gonna bring your head and lift on up. Really starting to feel work into the middle of our back. We're gonna lower part way down and we're gonna lengthen and lift back up. Think about wrapping those shoulders together. Inhale to lower, forward, and lift. And again, it's not about range of motion. I want you to really start to feel like you're connecting into your mid back. Think like bra line and up, but there's no tension in your neck. You want a nice strong mid back because that's what gives our neck and our head support. Good, let's go for three more. And two. And last one. And then go ahead and come on up and let's finish with a nice child's pose here. So it's really good. Kind of like, we can do it back on the couch as well, um, or hands down. And what I want you to do is deep breath into your back and I want you to round all the way up. So we're getting articulation and movement into our back. And then inhale and go back. Open up, really reach through those fingers, wrap those shoulder blades, and then exhale, pelvic tilt, round and go up. And one more. Good, round, and go ahead and come all the way. 
Okay, that's a good little workout you can do with your couch, which is great because it can take stress off of our neck. So it's really important when we're doing our workouts to make sure that our workouts are really helping us to feel balanced, feel strong, get our blood flowing a little bit, but they don't have to be super intense to be super, super effective. So really thinking about, um, you know, kind of maybe incorporating, pick a couple moves and you can incorporate it in throughout your day. Again, especially if you're sitting, watch that you're not sitting and just rounding forward during your day because that's where a lot of neck pain can come from and low back pain. And if we sit on the couch too much during the day, ladies, that can actually exacerbate pelvic floor issues. So something to keep in mind, making sure, you know, if you are sitting on the couch, I'm um, doing work, try to really sit up tall. And something that I do um, is I actually use like some just clear tubs that we have stuff in because I, you know, with everyone being home, I've been kind of, you know, back up in here so that I have space of my own to use and it's not chaos, chaotic and loud. And so I'll make myself a little just desk here and I'll sit towards the edge of my couch so that I can tend to sit up taller. And then I have my little makeshift desk that I'll use sometimes or if I want to stand and I have a standing desk downstairs but it's just too chaotic that I'm like, nope, I will just put it up on a shelf and then I can just stand up on a shelf. So those are just some ideas that I hope can help all of you so that you know we can make the best of everything that's going on. Just want to remind you to really be grateful for the things that you do have. Um, for those of you that are home with kiddos, it can be chaotic and, and all of that, yes, but just remember that it's an awesome time to spend good quality time with family. Um, if you're looking for more workouts, I have a whole bunch of them for you. Check out my website at ericazeal.com. Um, and if you're looking for my online you know, workout membership, um, check out my course studio workouts.